The uncertainty in Springfield and the potential for major cuts drew many to prayer this evening. Families who use these social services that are now in jeopardy gathered for a rally in East St. Louis. That's where News Channel 5's Jennifer Meckles is live. And they picked this spot. It's a Leslie Bates David neighborhood house in order to rally and to pray tonight. There's a program here. It's an after school program that relies on a lot of state funding for a lot of kids. And it's just one example of something that could be facing some deep cuts. Some came in their uniform scrubs, others barely bigger than the signs they held. Brought here together Tuesday night as major budget deadlines loom in Springfield. You cannot piggyback off the disabled. You cannot piggyback off the children. Those are the most vulnerable who have no say so, really. Cuts to social services would hit Charnette McCaskill not once, but twice. I'm a home care worker and my child is in the CCAP program. If the home care program is cut, I will not be able to take care of my child. And if the CCAP program is cut, I will not have no place to take my child. She's also worried about her grandmother, Patricia Lewis, who relies on state assistance for home health care, also in jeopardy. I can't get around in the house to do the things that I need to do, basic, the basic things, Feed, uh, fixing food, mm -hmm. taking a bath, uh, uh, cleaning up behind myself in the kitchen. I can't stand and cook or any of those kinds of things. These women and many who showed up here say they understand the state's financial challenges and that it might be painful to correct them. They just want a fix that doesn't fall on them. We're the ones that put them in office. We did not put them in our vote and put them in office for them to do us like this. It's criminal. Now, while we're talking about the next fiscal year, places like this are having a hard time just getting through this fiscal year. They've told us in the past in different stories we've done that they've already seen some of their funding cut leading up to now. Reporting live in East St. Louis, Jennifer Meckles, News Channel 5.